When Cody was born, so she was about a third of the size of a healthy baby. She was so small that I did not give much hope for her survival. So when she was born, her mom didn't really pay any attention to her. I don't even know if she had realized she'd given birth. So at the point that it had been a couple hours and I was afraid to leave Cody alone with her mom and her mom panicked because she was away from the herd and almost stepped on Cody twice. I took her inside because that is the best way to keep an eye on her. And when the vet came over, she basically stood there and stared at Cody for a minute and then finally said to me, well, do what you can. She has to stay inside indefinitely. She won't survive if you bring her back outside. When she was a baby, she was very little. When babies are born fragile, really it comes down to whether or not they have the will to live. So when Cody was a baby, she would go everywhere with me. And Cody, at only six and a half pounds, she was a fighter. I brought her inside, bottle fed her overnight because she had to be bottle fed every two to three hours and the babies were of course fascinated by her so in the beginning she would whine at the door and I would let her out and she liked being outside and she liked the adventure of it but she really wanted to watch the other alpacas from afar I did come up with some toys for her I got her a mirror she really liked looking at herself in the mirror uh, so it was quite funny to see Cody be a bit of a diva even at just a year old. She's gotten to the point that nobody gets to pet her except for me and she is a hands-off alpaca and she very much likes her routine. I actually had another baby who at five weeks old crashed so I brought her inside for two weeks so she would go right over and plop her little self right down next to Cody because they were best friends according to her but according to Cody they were not best friends and Cody would get all out of sorts because she was comfy where she was and wanted her space and the other baby was not uh, respecting her boundaries. As a baby she was sick a lot and then after four or five months old she got better and then um, when she was about five years old suddenly she crashed. She started losing weight. I couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. Um, we took her up to CSU and five days later, we carried her out because they had run every test they could think of and had no idea what was wrong with her and basically gave her two weeks to live. She couldn't stand, couldn't walk. Her vet out in Colorado was a miracle worker, pulled her through. I would try every day to stand her up and one day finally she was able to stand and then every day after that was improvement. She could stand longer and longer. Um, she was finally able to take some steps um, and basically we pulled her back even through multiple times that she almost died on me. She was the one who really kept going. I know it can happen again at any point with no warning, so we're just glad for every day she is healthy. Uh, I wrote a book called Cody the Teeny Tiny Alpaca. It's all about Cody being little and she feels like she's different from everybody else and doesn't fit in. And by the end, Cody learns that everybody has something that makes them unique. And so my goal with that was to use Cody and her differences to help teach a message to children about acceptance.